Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for December 16th through the 22nd. We're going to check in here with the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer playing card deck. And we're going to pull a money affirmation card for you from that money manifesting deck right there. We're going to stick with these two decks for the next, uh, for the rest of the month, for the next two readings or so. I know you guys are used to seeing me use a new deck every week, but it was really hard finding holiday decks. So maybe one day I'll have to like make a Christmas deck or something. I don't know. But we'll see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here is your Monday, Tuesday, my darlings. Your Wednesday, Thursday. And your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, my dears, we have two of uh, diamonds here. Or if we were to translate it into tarot terms, it would be two of pentacles. Now... This could be energy where you have a lot going on, where you're like super duper busy and you may have many things happening at once. The message here is that you need to try to find a way to fit in that spoonful of sugar with the medicine. You have to find a way to make what you're doing fun. You have to find a way to make what you're doing less stressful. You know, take little breaks when you can. Um, take some time to stretch. Take some time to incorporate music or something that lifts your spirit. Maybe take little mini two-minute breaks or, you know, four-minute breaks here or there and, and, and watch like a little video or something that makes you laugh. As long as you don't get in trouble doing that at work. But just in some way, or like on your break time, watch something that makes you laugh. Or just something where you're able to lift your spirit. And to try to come into whatever you're doing with a more playful approach. Try to find a way to make it playful. Try to find a way to make it fun. Try to come at it with a strategy where it's not so overwhelming. You know, you might have a lot going on. You might have a lot on your plate. And you might have a lot keeping you busy. For you, Aquarius, it feels to me like there are a lot of people pulling on you right? Like it may be a busy time at work or looking for work and then you've got family stuff on top of it. I feel for some of you, you're having a lot of friends or family like constantly calling you or texting you or asking you for advice. And it's like the more you're trying to put that wall up, the more they're like Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. So some of you uh, are just flat out going to have an issue with boundaries, you know, in the beginning of the week where you're just like, look, I can't, you know, talk right now or uh, but I just, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to people, please, for some reason. And it could be because maybe you're dealing with someone that maybe they're having a really hard time with this time of year and you're feeling kind of bad for them or they might be going through something. But I just feel like in your energy, Aquarius, I feel like you're okay. I just feel like there's a lot pulling on you. And, and that can be kind of overwhelming. So any way that you can incorporate fun, any way where you or any time you can get away for a moment, um, my goodness, you know, sometimes, you know, like if, if you're a parent or something, sometimes being able to take a trip to like, you know, Target or something for an hour or two can be very relaxing if if you can, you know, if, if you have someone with a little one or, you know, somebody watching them while they nap or something. Uh, so like, just it, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be anything amazing, right? But just try to find ways to incorporate some playfulness, some, you know, lifting your spirits, you know, just clearing your mind as often as you can, taking yourself away from a certain task, then coming back to it. You might be tempted to really power through it because there's so much going on, but you do need to remember to take these little mini breaks. Your Wednesday, Thursday is good here. We've got six of clubs. This would be in traditional tarot, six of wands. So this is victory. So whatever's happening in the beginning of the week, you're gaining mastery over it. You're accomplishing it. And not only are you getting everything done, you're getting it done well. You're getting it done well, well enough to where it's bringing you recognition. Uh, you know, sometimes this is a card that can come up when we receive some kind of award or a promotion uh, or a impressive kind of job offer. Um, for some of you too, it could even be something where you, you're having like a write-up, like, like a positive write-up. You know, maybe somebody is featuring you in like a local paper or maybe your business is getting a lot of word of mouth, you know, business or, or people are speaking well of you. 
I do feel for some of you, um, you're going to have an interesting conversation midweek at work. I feel like you're getting called in. And at first you're like, oh man, oh man, what did I do? What did I do? But it's more so like, they're like, oh, hey, you know, it's the end of the year. We just want to check in with you. Uh, you know, we, we just wanted to see how you're doing. How are you feeling? You happy here? Do you like it? So they might be kind of asking you some questions and doing like this uh, quote unquote check in, you know, with, with everybody. But I feel like they're trying to get a feel for what your goals are there, what it is you're wanting to do. They're probably thinking of moving you up or they've felt or they've sensed that you're able to handle different things. And so they're trying to maybe think of where they can put you. So if there's anything at that job that you like, that you find interesting, it might be a good time to really be honest about that and say, hey, I've always been fascinated with, you know, this side of things. And, you know, one day I would really love to learn more about that. Or, you know, I'd really like to grow with the company. I'd really like to move up. Um, you know, this is the time to speak up because I feel like you've really impressed people, right? Even if you're not getting called in, even if nobody's talking to you just yet this week, midweek, you're gaining attention. People are noticing you. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, your reputation is preceding you, so to speak. So it's a very positive card. Um, also, keep it in mind in the beginning of the week. If you do feel stressed out, if you do feel like there's a lot going on, keep in mind that it's only temporary. You're going to get it done and you're going to get it done well. Okay, your Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Aquarius. We have seven of spades. <laughs> nah, nah, not surprising after a six of clubs. So seven of spades is going to be in traditional tarot, what we refer to as seven of swords. Okay. Uh, now, before I get into why I kind of laughed, for some of you, this card is going to apply more that you're doing well, but you're maybe kind of laying low. You're keeping to yourself. You're being cautious how much you're sharing with other people. Like if you did get called in and you had that little check-in, don't go around asking your coworkers, hey, did they call you in? Did they have a check-in with you? No, 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 no. Lay, lay low. Don't draw attention to it. Don't draw attention to it. Guard your plans. Guard your ideas. For some of you, that's what seven of spades or seven of swords is going to mean. The reason why I laughed is for those of you where you are going to have attention coming in and you are going to have people like noticing you or talking about you or complimenting you or you're getting some, you know, some kind of, you know, positive, you know, like people are looking at you, right? Like, like you're on top right now. Seven of Swords for some of you is going to be that people or someone in particular, a person in particular is like, oh, wow, like they're having this opportunist moment where they're wanting to latch on to you. They're wanting to latch on to you. They're wanting to hitch along your little wagon for a ride. And that's why I laughed, of course, right? Like when we're doing well, the little vultures come out sometimes. And so um, you know, I always kind of joke about the seven of spades or seven of swords. And I say they're trying to get in your pants or get in your pockets or they're trying to get in your pockets through your pants. So you could have someone who's being slick um, and they might come off a very good to be true. And I'm sorry to say the reason for it is, is that they have really been able to figure you out. You know, a seven of swords kind of person is really good from watching from afar, figuring out who you are, figuring out what you like, what you don't like, what you're looking for. And then they want to appear as that person, right? They put on that mask. How, how can I get Aquarius to notice me? Because they know that if you really got to know them, you wouldn't give them the time of day. Right. So they, they, they appear in the form that's going to be impressive to you. So my advice to you is this just to be safe. If you have anybody coming up to you towards the end of the week and it, it might not even be a sexual thing. It could be a cousin or a relative or someone you haven't talked to for a while or someone that you're kind of sort of friends with. And all of a sudden they're like in your DMs and they're wanting to get together. So it might not be necessarily a sexual thing. It could be a coworker. It could be a family member. Uh, but, you know, just kind of let them prove themselves before you go letting them all in. Before you go, you know, like, oh, yeah, you know, we're close and we're picking up right where we left off. Or, oh, yeah, this is amazing. Let's see where this goes. 
take your time with this person long enough to where if there really is a mask, it's going to slip, right? Long enough to let that mask slip so you have a clear idea of what their intentions are, why they're here, what they're doing. I feel Aquarius, for some of you, you have to be very cautious because this energy feels to me like whoever this is, they're coming in with the energy of um, like... Uh, um, they're saying things, they're talking trash, they're saying all kinds of things, like maybe it's in a work situation, they're saying things about other co-workers, they're saying things about the higher-ups, or maybe somebody within your family, they're talking about other relatives, and even if you're not saying anything back, even if like, oh, uh-huh, yeah, man, that sucks, oh, totally, right, like even if you're just kind of, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, they're going to go and they're going to say, do you know what Aquarius said about you? Aquarius said this and Aquarius said that. Or they're going to try to get you to vent and then they're going to go tell everybody like what you said. And it's their way of, because you're getting all the positive attention, it's their way of kicking you out of the limelight and trying to show you up, like trying to get the intention instead. Like Aquarius isn't good, I'm good. So be careful of that too. Even if it's not someone who seems to be chasing after you to date you, be careful when anybody trying to pull you into a conversation or they're trying to hang out or they're trying to pick your brain about something I don't feel you can necessarily trust this person and what they're asking you or what they're trying to figure out from you and again I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy but there's been some interesting energies uh in this week's reading um and so I would just say you know just kind of look out for that you know better better safe than sorry better to be prepared for it let's go ahead and see on a positive note what money affirmation is coming up for you all and again guys be sure to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks those are going to resonate with you more than others all righty and the card that you have here is visualization Alrighty, so I would always say check out the pictures on the card and see how they speak to you and what they say to you. Um, I see a star that's jumping out at me, so that's like guidance as is the dragonfly. Dragonfly can also uh, tell you like patience, things are coming your way, that you're kind of on your path, you're being led, you're being guided. Swan, of course, gracefulness, um, beauty. Um, you know, just kind of s focusing on beauty and the things that are bringing you joy. Uh, you know, these are just some of the messages that I see jumping out, but see what jumps out at you, what the symbols mean to you, how they speak to you. The affirmation on the back, my dear, is I make mental pictures of my goals that are simple and to the point. Okay, so mental pictures, visualizing um, can be very, very helpful. Now, some people have a hard time with visualizing. So if you do, this is a really good affirmation to help you master that. And I always say, if you write the affirmation down in your own handwriting, it gives it more power. If you say it the very first thing every single morning when you wake up and say it out loud the very last thing every night before you go to bed, this really helps to plant that seed while your brain is shifting from conscious to subconscious and vice versa. So it becomes more of an automatic thought. It's like you're programming yourself to think this way. But you can say it as many times as you want throughout the day. You can turn it into like a little ritual with your candles and your incense or however you want to do it. Um, but if you want to incorporate it right when you wake up and right when you go to bed, it can be very helpful. If you're still struggling with this, a tip that I can give you is watch movies that kind of show what you want your life to be like or listen to music or songs that have the feeling about how you want to feel. That can sometimes help, you know, get those visualization muscles going. Um, be sure to check out your Moon, Sun, and Rising Sun video. Like I said, watch the channeled messages for December. Those have been really helpful for a lot of people. Link is in the description. Uh, watch the love readings if you're looking for love and romance. The link to those are in the description. Around the time this video gets posted, the 2020 videos are going to start coming up. So be sure that you are staying in tune for those and you're watching uh, those, keeping an eye out for those, and the calendar is going to be up uh, in the next, you know, few days as well. So for private reading. So uh, stay tuned for all of that, guys. 
Thank you so very much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm wishing you a fabulous week, Aquarius.